And WWE 2K22 is almost here. Fans have been waiting a long time to finally play the game and now they finally get to experience it for themselves after months of previews and teaser trailers. Uh, due to 2K20 coming out in 2019, there's naturally been a ton of superstars who have been removed from the game and are no longer playable characters in 2K22. But which ones are they? Well join us now as we look at every wrestler removed from WWE 2K22. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're the first to know when we upload a video. Number 32, Zack Ryder. A former US champion, Zack Ryder appeared in WWE video game releases for over a decade until his unfortunate release in April of 2020. Although Ryder's removal from the game doesn't come as a surprise, there is a possibility that he will one day return to WWE and is once again featured in a WWE video game installment. Number 31, Velveteen Dream. Due to serious allegations against him, WWE decided to release Velveteen Dream from his WWE contract in 2021. Consequently, this means that the young superstar will no longer be featured in any WWE games moving forward. Number 30, Sarah Logan. Although Sarah Logan was released from her contract in April of 2020, she did make a brief appearance at this year's Women's Royal Rumble event. Nevertheless, as she's not a full-time contracted talent, as this was more than likely a one-off, she has been removed from the WWE gaming roster. Number 29, The Bollywood Boys. As summer 2021 saw the release of Sunil and Sumir Singh, aka The Bollywood Boys. The talented duo now been removed from the WWE 2K22 roster, once again reducing the amount of established tag teams in the game. Number 28, AOP. Speaking of tag teams, the AOP have also been removed from WWE 2K22. This came after their release in September 2020. The duo enjoyed a short run alongside Seth Rollins, so the release certainly came as a huge surprise at the time. Number 27, Rusev. Rusev was finally granted his release from WWE in April 2020, but for players, this means that he isn't featured in 2K22. With Rusev now using the name Miro in AEW, there's a strong possibility he'll be featured in AEW video games release. Number 26, Ruby Riot. One of the more underrated stars of the women's division was Ruby Riot. Therefore, her release in summer of 2021 certainly upset a lot of fans. Riot has been enjoying great success in AEW since her release, and similarly to Miro, she is likely to be a playable character in the first AEW video game, which may make up for her absence in 2K22. Number 25, No Way Jose. 
And that way Jose never really found his footing on the main roster and his release in 2020 didn't come as a huge surprise. He was removed from the game's roster but players can always go back and play him in 2K20 if there is an outcry relating to his removal, which we severely doubt. Number 24, Mojo Rawley. One of the lower card talents released in 2021 was Mojo Rawley. Rawley was subsequently pulled from 2K22 and is unlikely to feature in another WWE video game unless WWE makes the drastic decision to bring him back. Number 23, The Club. Both members of The Club, that being Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, were both released from WWE in 2020, meaning that both tag team specialists are no longer featured in this year's game. Both Anderson and Gallows have appeared in both AEW and Impact since their release, so an appearance in the future AEW video game could be a possibility, but we're not holding our breath. Number 22, Bo Dallas. After 13 years with WWE, Bo Dallas was released in 2020 due to budget cuts. Dallas has also been removed from WWE 2K22. He made his first WWE video game appearance in 2K15 and remained a permanent playable character in future installments. Number 21, Jack Gallagher. A former 205 Live star Jack Gallagher was released by WWE in 2020 after he was named in the Speaking Out movement. Gallagher was then quite rightly removed from any plans to feature him as a playable character in 2K22. Number 20, Cassius Ono. Akasha Sono was yet another NXT star cut from the company in 2020. Ono has been removed from 2K22 as a playable character and it's likely that he will never feature in another installment ever again. Number 19, Heath Slater. Another removed superstar is Heath Slater who was cut from his contract in 2020. Although Slater made a cameo appearance on WWE television during Drew McIntyre's title run, this unfortunately hasn't stopped him from being removed from 2K22. Number 18, Lars Sullivan. Lars Sullivan. What? had a disastrous main event run which was filled with personal issues and demons and it eventually led to Lars parting way with the WWE in 2021. Lars made his WWE video game debut as DLC in 2K18 and it looks like his appearance in 2K20 will be his final video game appearance of his career. Number 17, Kurt Hawkins. A WWE's former resident enhancement talent Kurt Hawkins was released from WWE in 2020. This meant that Hawkins, along with his longtime tag team partner and personal friend Zack Ryder, were removed from the planned 2K22 roster. Number 16, Eric Young. Another star that's been removed from 2K22 is Eric Young. Young was released in 2020 due to budget cuts. Whilst he may not be featured in this year's game, he is featured in a prominent role in Impact Wrestling on a weekly basis. Number 15, Jackson Riker. Jackson Riker was rather disliked by fans as well as fellow wrestlers for his rather controversial political viewpoints. This aligned with his WWE release in late 2021 and he was therefore removed as a playable character in 2K22. Number 14, Alicia Fox. Although there were rumors that Alicia Fox may appear in WWE 2K22 as a legend, as after all, that's what WWE is labeling her now. And she also made an appearance at this year's Royal Rumble's women's event. But this isn't the case, as 2K have removed her from the game entirely, meaning that 2K20 marks Fox's last appearance in a WWE video game. Number 13, EC3. EC3 had all the potential in the world, but WWE just didn't see it. EC3 was released from his WWE contract in 2020, and he's therefore not featured in 2K22. Number 12, Curtis Axel. A two-time tag team champion, Curtis Axel was cut by the WWE in 2020 and doesn't feature in 2K22. Axel first appeared in WWE 12 and even appeared in the WWE Battlegrounds game, which was released in place of 2K21. So it's kind of surprising that he's not in. Number 11. Drake Maverick. A Drake Maverick was once again released in late 2021, but he recently began to work for WWE on the creative team. Although Maverick is back with WWE, with him not being an in-ring talent, he's been removed from the game's roster and doesn't feature in 2K22. Number 10, Andrade. Andrade is one of those superstars who actually wanted to be released by WWE. He got his wish in 2021, and since then he's been working in AEW. And due to this release, Andrade isn't a playable character in this year's game. Number 9, Alistair Black. A WWE releasing Alistair Black was a move that nobody saw coming as Black was set to be one of the future stars of the company. He then made the jump to AEW, but his WWE release and subsequent jump to AEW means that.
Lol. Why? Just, why? That Black isn't a playable character in this year's game. Number 8. The Revival The Revival had a tough go of things on the main roster, and they detested the way the WWE treated the tag team wrestling division. This meant that the talented duo wanted their release from the company, and they would eventually get it in 2020, which means that 2K20 is their last appearance. Number 7. Kyrie Sane in terms of WWE departures, Kyrie Sane left on fantastic terms and she even worked with the WWE for an extended period in an ambassador role. However, she has sadly been removed from 2K22 and the former NXT Women's Champion doesn't feature in the game in any capacity. Number 6. Mark Henry WWE legend Mark Henry shocked fans when he signed for AEW in 2021. And WWE is trying to limit the amount of AEW talent featured in the game, so consequently, Henry has been removed from the game's roster. Number 5. The Big Show Speaking of WWE legends, Big Show also signed for AEW in 2021, putting an end to a WWE career which lasted over two decades. Big Show has featured in virtually every WWE video game since the late 1990s and players will no doubt miss playing as the former WWE champion in this year's game. Number 4. Christian a Christian stunned WWE fans in 2021 when he came out of retirement to appear at that year's Rumble. Christian then decided to embark on a run in AEW and Impact Wrestling, so this meant that WWE were forced to remove him from this year's game. Number 3. Adam Cole one of the biggest stars in NXT was Adam Cole, but in 2021, he decided to leave WWE behind in favor of beginning a career in AEW. This sadly meant that Cole was removed from the game, but it's rather likely that he's heavily featured in the upcoming AEW video game release. Number 2. Bray Wyatt Without question, one of the most surprising releases in recent memory was that of the fiend Bray Wyatt. Bray was one of the WWE's top stars and was insanely marketable. Players were looking forward to potentially playing as the fiend in this year's game, but due to his release, this sadly is impossible. This one is incredibly surprising as they're still selling his merchandise on WWE Shop, but they're not going to feature him in this year's game? Strange. And number one, Daniel Bryan. Following his WrestleMania 37 main event with Roman Reigns and Edge, Daniel Bryan decided to reevaluate his career options. Instead of re-signing with WWE, he decided to part ways with them after over a decade and decided to sign with AEW. That means that Bryan will not unfortunately be a playable character in this year's game which would be a drastic change as Brian has featured in every WWE video game release since WWE 12 released all the way back in 2011. But there you have it folks, every wrestler removed from WWE 2K20.
think it's in the ear. Yeah. You'll go like, son. Speak that bass on, on peace while bass is out. <laughs>